Hi, welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Tracy Cubix. Spring is just around the corner and the city of Hampton is kicking off their season with their spring events. And here to tell us all about it is Ryan Downey. Hi Ryan, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, you've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. A lot of uh, good events coming up in the spring. We do, a lot of things, yeah. <laughs> a lot of fun. So let's start with the Hampton Roads Tattoo Festival. Sure, it's the, uh, it's the sixth annual, so it's the sixth time it's been held in the Hampton Roads Convention Center. They usually take up two exhibit halls, um, and there's over 260 tattoo artists that will be represented there um, at the booth. But not only um, are there tattoo artists, but you can could, you could talk to about setting up, possibly getting a tattoo. And a lot of people, you want to do that in advance if you want to do that, but you can do pickups, um, pick up some opportunities to, to get some and walk in. Uh, but just a wealth of really fun things are going to be taking place there the, the, the entire weekend, really. Right, because there's like live music and food. There is. There's live music. We're going to have, um, like there's going to be a wrestling ring. There are going to be celebrities like George Bell, who's the tallest man in, in, in the country, um, who was on the show um, Freaks. Um, there's the show Oddities will be there. They're from the Discovery Channel. There's going to be a children's area, a temporary tattoo contest for, for children. Have um, fun. Yeah, pinup contest. Wow. Um, it's a lot of really cool and fun things to do for the entire family that weekend. Great. That sounds like a lot of fun. So now we're going to move into the next week, March 6th to the 13th, yeah. uh, restaurant week. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, um, most cities in Hampton Roads have a restaurant week. Hamptons is going to be March 6th through the 13th. Um, restaurants that want to participate in uh, really all, all throughout Hampton, whether that's downtown Hampton or Coliseum Central or Fort Monroe, um, they'll participate and they'll put together a menu. Um, it'll be ten dollars for um, two two course uh, lunch, or it'll be twenty or thirty dollars for a three course dinner. Um, and so, if you go to HamptonRestaurantWeek.com, you can look up the uh, restaurants that are participating and also um, their menus. So you can kind of feel it out and see what kind of restaurants that you might want to see in Hampton. And there's a lot of really good restaurants right now. You should that, definitely check out. That's great. Now chefs get to show off their talent. They do. Yeah. <laughs> They're great. So now we're going to move into the next week on March the 12th. Well, that's kind of the same week. Yeah. Um, Hunt for History, searching the 1960s. Now that sounds so intriguing. What is that all about? So the Hunt for Hampton History is this event that the Hampton History Museum has been doing for, Hampton History Mu Museum has been doing for years now. Um, and they pick an error every year and they ask people to come in and, uh, and share their information. So this year it's the 1960s. If you have um, any photographs or even oral stories that you want to come in and share or things that you can find in your attic or, you know, anything that kind of relates to 1960s or the counterculture or Vietnam or, you know, anything that's taking place, Woodstock, things like that. They ask people to come in and share that information. And in addition, there'll be people there that will be sharing their stories that will be there. And you can go through and kind of visit different booths and kind of learn about not only the 1960s, but what the 1960s was like specifically in Hampton at that time. Wow, so, that's great. Yeah. And a good way to kind of clean out your attic too, bring in some memorabilia. Sure, <laughs> they, they love that stuff and they love to have that in their archives as well. So please, we're, we're always actively searching for things, especially um, Hampton related things, but this, this is gonna be the 1960s. Great. So now we're up to April 16th. We're going to go to the Fur Ball Gala. So that yeah. sounds fabulous. So tell us all about that. Yeah, well, this is an awesome event. It's an event that's very close to my heart. It's the uh, ninth annual SBCA Fur Ball Gala. It will be April 16th at the Hampton Roads Convention Center. And um, this is an event. It's the, a, the largest fundraiser that the SPCA puts on every year. And this will be the second year that they are going on this, um, what they call an adoption guarantee, which used to be called No Kill. So adoption guarantee, we're looking to raise $250,000 throughout the year. And this is the biggest fundraiser that we have every year. Um, people bring their pets. Um, you have can, fun. yeah, 135 per person, or it's 75 per pet. People bring their pets. You've got live music by Tidewater Drive. You have a silent auction. You've got a live auction. You've got a great dinner by Embassy Suites that makes just fantastic food, um, cocktails, and it's just a lot of fun. And of course, the red carpet, where people can parade their pets down the red carpet. This year's theme is Holly Wolf. Okay. Um, so we're going with the big Holly Wolf theme. Um, and you may even see some great cat's bees out there as well. And last year we actually had a bird, so. Wow, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Now, will there be pets there to adopt as well? Or? There will not be any pets there that will be for adoption, but you can talk to representatives from the SPCA there about possibly coming in and, um, and adopting. Okay, great. And you do need tickets for that, and they go on sale March 1st. That's correct. They okay. go on sale March 1st. Okay, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. It really so is. So March and April are going to be really busy, and 
lots to do for the entire family. Certainly, and you can go to visithampton.com and on visithampton.com you can find our, our calendar of events and there's so many other things that we didn't get to talk about that are taking place throughout March and April. It's just, it's a really great time in Hampton great. right now. Okay, well thanks so much for sharing the information with us today. Sure, thanks for having me. For more information about these events, you can visit their website at visithampton.com. Thanks for watching Hot Ticket, I'm Tracy Kubiks.